Hello everyone, this is Elena with MedLab Diagnostics doing a quick video to show you how to use our new vaginal pH strips. Um, this is what the strips look like when they come in the bottle. You just snap off the top and inside you're going to see that they come sealed. There's two separate packages that are sealed to maintain freshness for a longer period of time. So you take one of these out and you open the seal and then you um, take out your strips and when after you open the seal on the pouch try to fold it so that you can maintain the freshness on the strips and this is what they look like they have like a little yellowish hue to them when you first take them out and that's normal and so we're just going to show you what the different color results might be when you use them there's a color chart right on the bottle right here that shows you acidic results normal results and abnormal results so for vaginal pH, um, anything in the 4 to 4.5 range is normal. Um, less than that is considered acidic, but still normal. It could You could have a vaginal pH in the 3.5 range, and it could it's still considered normal, but it's kind of rare to have it be that acidic. And then anything above 4.5 um, is considered abnormal, and you should probably get it checked out because maybe you have some kind of um, vaginal disease going on if your vaginal pH is abnormal. So we're just going to show what those results look like. Um, so what you do is you take a cotton swab that you would buy at any pharmacy or whatnot and then you would swab um, your vaginal area inside and get vaginal secretions on the swab and then you just simply um, just smear it onto the strip like this and then you'll see that as you do that the strip starts to change color so you just do that and then you just wait um, the allotted number of seconds it's 15 seconds and then you read your results on the color chart you just compare your pad to your color chart and read the results so for this one here that we just did um, it looks like the result is in the normal range of 4.5. That's the one that matches the closest. And then just for fun, we're also going to test um, an, an acidic liquid and a alkaline liquid so that you can see what those results would look like. So we're just going to test some orange juice here. And that will give us um, a result that's acidic. We're going to test the orange juice. And these start to change color pretty quick, even before the 15 seconds. So you can see it's a yellow, yellowish result. And it may not be an exact match, but you can see that the color that matches most closely are these yellow colors, which are in the acidic range. Might be like a 3.5 or a 3. And that makes sense for orange juice because orange juice is acidic. And then we're going to do the last one, which is this is baking soda water. And that's going to give you an alkaline result, which would be over here in the abnormal range. So we're going to use the middle one that we haven't used yet. Ooh, and that changed immediately. As you can see, the baking soda water is alkaline. So it, it um, went ahead and changed it to an alkaline result. And this looks like it's probably like a 6 or 5 point. And that's closer to 6. So this is like a result of 6. And that's what the result would look like if you had an abnormal result for the vaginal pH. Um, so you want to watch out for that. If you get a result like that, you definitely want to go get it checked out. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you can email us at info at medlabdiagnostics.org and visit our website at www.medlabdiagnostics.org. And don't forget to like this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.